Oh, that's right. We have the airplane this weekend. This is my, my serious life moment, my big go anywhere decision. You know, and if you're ever gonna plan a cross country in your Cirrus, this is where you wanna start. At home, well in advance, when you have time to think, when it's peaceful, and you gotta start with the funnest part. Where are you gonna go? You know, that's a good question. Where are we gonna go? Emily! Hey, sweet. Hey. Ooh. Uh, remember we have the airplane this weekend? Yeah, nice. What are you thinking, just uh, pick up the kids after school? Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds good. Where do you want to go? I don't care. I'm good for anything. The weather's looking pretty good in Destin. Just saying. Ooh, I love the beach. Plus, I need a tan. Anyways, that's about two hours in the plane. I wonder how many bags Emily's going to want to take. Good thing she can't hear me right now. But why don't you go ask the kids? That's fair. Now, you know this. The world of aviation opens up a world of opportunity. But just as important as it is to figure out where you're going, actually, more importantly, you got to figure out how you're going to get there. And then the decision-making process that's going to be required to follow all of your flight planning steps in the correct order. Henry, that's really cool, bud. Hey, do you want to go on a really cool flying trip this weekend? Yeah. Well, where do you think you want to go? Maybe to see Grandpa and Grandma at Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Okay, so that's about 700 miles to see the grandparents. Do we push on to Fargo, see the other grandparents? Might be chilly. Likely one fuel stop, 10 bathroom breaks, probably. I think that's a really good idea. Might be getting a little bit cold, but it's a good idea. I'm gonna go check and see what Eleanor thinks, okay? Yeah. All right, you keep drawing. Hi, Pedro. Hey, Eleanor. Where would you go? Disney World. Florida, okay, that's about 450 miles. It's gonna be too hot. What's the density altitude like? I don't like long lines. I hate long lines, but who cares? It's Mickey. Who doesn't love Mickey? Okay, that's one vote for Disney World. Banjo seems to agree. Hey, do you know where little A is? Um, I don't know. I think he's out in the garage playing basketball. Okay, I'm gonna go check. Thanks, sister. Hello. See, you cannot simply just wake up and hop in the cockpit. It takes thoughtful pre-flight planning, keeping in mind that as pilot in command, when you're up there, it's not just a game. Yo, let me up. Oh yeah. Uh, usually I make those. Hey kid, you want us to pick you up after school on Friday and we can go on a really cool Cirrus trip this weekend? Oh yeah, sure. We were learning about um, Abraham Lincoln's school, so maybe could we go to Washington, D.C.? D.C. So the kid likes history. That's awesome. Got to nourish that. Probably good weather in D.C. A few hours in the plane and we're face to face with Honest Abe. Man, I think that's a pretty cool idea. Score one for the nation's capital. But are we all going to be able to fit? Of course we're going to be able to fit. It's an SR-22. It's sweet. I will just make sure that I do wonderful pre-flight planning and then we'll know exactly how many bags your mom can take. Oh, I'm telling her you said that. No, please don't. All right, let's head inside and figure it out. What do you say? All right, be right back. As you pare down your destination options, just know this, your SR's performance is absolutely contingent upon so many different factors. More importantly, so is the safety of your most precious cargo. So leave absolutely nothing to chance. Let's see here. It looks like well, we've got three pretty good kid ideas going on. It's Minnesota, Washington, D.C., Disney. How are we going to figure this thing out? Three point contest. Rock, paper, scissors. Fight club. The water temperature at the beach in Destin is literally 84 degrees. Uh, she's right, you know. He's always right. Yeah. What do we think? Uh, Destin, Florida, the beach? The, the beach. beach! The beach! All right, well, hey, look. So, watch. It's about 350 miles, so that means it's going to take about two hours, not too long. And I bet you if we really move it down there, we'll probably get there just before sunset, which will be really fun on the beach. Plus, I think this is going to be a great scenario to take those very nice people along for the ride with us. What people? The nice year of customers right there. Right there. Exactly, Eleanor. Say hi, everybody. Hi. You know what? That's what we're going to do here. We're going to make a full course out of this. A course where you can use our flight to follow along to learn how to plan your flight. You know, to learn how to get there. And that starts with navigating. It starts with learning how to just draw and then shape the line to plan the route, taking into consideration all the airspace that you're gonna see along the way. And then you're gonna learn how to better read a VFR sectional chart to really identify and understand that airspace and how to follow along and plan your route on Garmin Pilot and also how to follow along with your flight using the oh so trusty 
navigation log. What about the weather, Dad? Ah, yes, and we will also talk about how to know what the weather's going to do before the day of the actual flight, and to be very confident that you know what the weather's going to do while you're flying, so that your flight is fun and not a stressful one. We got to talk about weight stuff. Yes. Weight is also a very important consideration, and we will do everything we can to make sure that we do a safe loading analysis, so that you know everything you can bring, my love. Thanks. Uh huh. And you're also going to learn how to do everything that you need to do just before you fly, like a bunch of performance planning to make sure that you're making an optimal performance decision, including fuel planning, understanding the context of your fuel as it relates to reserves and any maybe potential weather or delays that you could expect along the route, and how to make those best in-flight decisions in the occasional chance that something might not go exactly according to plan, as we've maybe experienced on some of our flights in the past. Then I think a great fun thing that we can do is fly home on Sunday night, back in time for school, and in that case, our very good friends can fly along with us on that night flight and learn some great and very safe night flying considerations. What my dad's trying to say is flying is amazing, and we are so glad you get to come to our beach trip. That is nicely said, Eleanor. And you know what? Let's get that course going right now. The first lesson is setting the table. It's basic, teaching you how to choose where you're going to go and then how to plan for that destination. So there's a lot of training and video goodness coming up. Henry! Let's get started right now. Welcome to the Cirrus Aircraft Cross Country Procedures course. This is totally the Cirrus life. You got that right. Dad, can we bring the boogie board? Of course we can. Can I sit in the middle? I'll fight you for it. Um, no, you can have it. Can we bring banjo? No, we can't bring banjo. You let me. 